Okay. Hello. <clears throat> right, so this is RG556 Saturn. Let's turn the volume up a bit. Let's get this mic sorted. So probably not the most popular stream on a Sunday, but who cares? Let's complete the coverage of the RG556. Dawson Gems, hello, welcome. We're just gonna have a chill stream, not really not really doing much but playing some Saturn games. And um then I'm on holiday. Away from keyboard. Uh, I'll be gone until about April, uh, mid-April or something like that. Uh, April the uh, 10th or something like that. I'll be back. Uh, hopefully with some new handhelds, but we'll see. Okay. In the meantime, you'll have some roundup posts and... Uh, some uh, reruns like I did with the Retro Pocket 4. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, let's play some Sonic R. I'm using Retro Arch. I'm using Yabba Senshiro actually. Um, I'm not using the Yabba Senshiro standalone because I, I don't actually own it. Um, and I'm not a big fan of that emulator, just the interface and stuff. I really hate it. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much for that message, uh, Dawson Gems. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's for me as well, really. Because <laughs> um, sometimes, you know, the audience just drops by and asks for a game, and I've never heard of it. So it's uh, it helps me discover new games as well. Okay, this is... But this one should be pretty standard. I mean, I think every time I do a Saturn stream, somebody asks for this game. So I thought I might as well put it on as the first game. Uh, I haven't gotten any better at it, I'll say that. Um, and I actually don't know like how well the emulator is doing. I, I mean, I can see the FPS and everything, but usually I'm not that um, I'm not that sensitive to, you know, if a Saturn game is working well or not. I mean, there's obviously some, you know, things that can go wrong in terms of graphics or textures, but. Um, like, I don't remember how some of these Saturn games are meant to be running. Oops. Oh, no. And also, I, also I just didn't play any uh, many of them as well. I got my Saturn quite late. So, yeah. I'll be relying on some of the, the chat to um, to help me out. Um, and to me, this looks completely fine, but maybe... Maybe it's not very accurate. Oh, but yeah, we're just playing some Sonic R. Uh, back in the day, I was a you know I was a PlayStation guy, so I didn't uh, I didn't buy the Saturn on launch. I think it was quite expensive, right? It was uh, it was quite an expensive ha uh, console compared to the uh, PlayStation, at least. Uh, so I don't know if many people actually bought it, but it was definitely not the market leader, let's say. Oh, I did that completely wrong. Uh, I only got mine like much, much later in the in the cycle, like when the I think when the Xbox 360 was around, I I, I picked up a like a used Saturn, and then I um, I modified it as well so I could play. Import games, uh, and uh, all sorts of stuff as well. So that's when I was starting to mess around with Saturn games. Uh, but yeah, I don't have that much uh, sort of real Saturn experience apart from doing these streams. Yeah, I actually I did have a. Um, I think my brother had a friend who had a Saturn, and then we we ended up playing 
um, I think X Men versus Street Fighter, or maybe X Men Children of the Atom, and um, it was pretty. Like, that was pretty amazing. I remember seeing that for the first time, because the two D was meant to be. I think it was better on the Saturn uh, than the PlayStation. It could handle like more graphics or something. Oh, did I? Okay, All right. So I can play some different levels actually. So yeah, I'm not um actually the the five five six, I'm not sure um if you would buy this for Saturn. <laughs> um There was a Saturn expert who came to one of my streams once about the RP4. And uh they actually said the RP4 wasn't good enough to emulate Saturn properly. Um and that was that was quite surprising to me. Uh they were saying because uh, they got me to try it well. They got me to try the Odin 2 on that one, and then... Oh no. <laughs> I'm completely lost. Wow. These tracks are more complicated than, than like Mario Kart. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Oh, man, I need to retry that. I got completely bamboozled. Completely bamboozled. Ready, set, go. Okay. I mean, to me, this looks like it's working okay, but I don't know if you if you know maybe you know Sonic R better than me and in the chat, but I'm not really sure what I would be looking for. Whoa. Like at the time, I don't think uh, Mario Kart. Yeah, Mario Kart certainly wasn't doing anything like this. Uh, I'd say like Wipeout was maybe doing, doing this kind of like you know up and down tracks and all these like crazy loops and things. Maybe Wipeout was doing that. Um, N64 maybe. Well, what's going? On? But yeah. This is a bit crazier than the first level. Oh my. Oh. Uh, I guess when that green target comes up, it means like Dr. Robotnik's got a missile on you or something. Let's go down here. Oh, it's so... Yeah. So weird. Such a weird track. Oh, I did see something weird then. Some weird graphics. Oh, I actually overtook somebody. Uh, Chicken Nugget, welcome to the stream. Yeah, I think this runs quite smooth. Uh, but I am using the Yabba Sanshiro core, which uh, in RetroArch is meant to be a bit less accurate. Um, it's not the recommended one, actually. Like, the best Sega Saturn core is definitely uh, meant to be Beetle Saturn. And Beetle Saturn produces more, like, accurate results, which is, which is a bit more true to the original hardware. But this one is more about, uh, it's more focused on speed. Uh, but from what I can see, the game looks okay to me. There's a little, like, so there's some little glitches here and there where the 2D appears over the 3D. Um, and that doesn't seem correct, but the actual speed is okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't know you could go through there. I think you can trust the counter in the top right as well, the FPS counter. Uh, oh, no, no, um, sorry. I think you can trust the fact that it's when it says 60, I'm getting full speed. But this is not a 60 FPS game. I, I, can, I can see that this is a 30 FPS game.
Yeah, Yabba Sanshiro 2 Pro um, is... I think it's meant to be a bit more... Uh, the Like, the standalone is meant to be a bit better than the RetroArch Core. I'm using the RetroArch Core right now. Uh, Sonny, welcome back to the stream. Opposite lock. Uh, which device do I find myself using the most off stream? Uh, let me just get it for you. Uh, at the moment, I'm using... At the moment, I'm, use, I'm using this one the most, uh, the Iron Neo Pocket Air. Uh, it's basically, uh, it's a Dimensity 1200 and it has an OLED 5.5 inch screen. It's quite difficult to get this one, I think. Uh, it's no longer for sale. And it was a, um, it was a, um, like a limited release. Uh, I got mine for about, I think 220. Uh, US dollars, something like that, or something. It, it, the price wasn't that expensive, uh, so it was quite quite good. Okay, um, yeah. Tell the tell the police that right. So this Sega Saturn expert was, um, I don't know. He's, he, he, this person, I mean, maybe he'll come on stream, but um, the um, it, it, he was saying basically the Yabas and Shiro is not accurate, and he was um, saying Beetle Saturn. And uh, you must use Beetle Saturn, and the and the games to test are uh, Fighting Vipers and Virtua Fighter Two, I believe. Yeah, Chicken Nugget. I, I got the. Um, there was a pre-sale in China, and I, I I put my money down for it, and then uh, it was it was very cheap after that. I think it was two twenty. Let me just check. It was. It wasn't that much money. Um, or was it? It was. It was something like. That. I, I need to check. But I, I got it quite. I got it much cheaper than the. Um, I got it much cheaper than. What do you call it? Uh, Indiegogo. Okay. So I mean, for me. Uh, this game runs okay on, on Yabba Sanchiro core. What I'll do, right, is I'll just try it on the other core. Uh, just for the the benefit of the stream. So, Beetle Saturn is meant to be more accurate, but to me, like, I'm not a big... Yeah, I, I don't know the diff... I can't see the difference sometimes. Teiko Hoysen, uh, welcome to the stream. Uh, Chicken McNugget. I, I no, I don't have any uh, contacts in Ionia, so I'm. Uh, I, I bought that one. Okay, so the Beetle Saturn core is uh, straight away. I can see the speed is much less. Uh, there's like, it was like twenty percent slower in the menus. Um, I'll just see if. Okay, yeah, you can see the FPS is not quite there. Yeah, and on this loading screen, I'm getting like 45 FPS. <laughs> yeah, the music in in that game, in this game, is quite quite funny. Okay, yeah, so straight away you can see like it's it's just not there, isn't it? Um, I can probably put some frame skip on. Like maybe the I don't know, maybe the shadows are better or something. Or but you can see that there's a big difference in in using these cores. Uh, I guess the Sonic R fans out there can probably see the difference, but I think that this device does not handle the Beetle Saturn core very well. Because uh, a lot of the games are like this. Uh, maybe the 2D games would be okay, but yeah. If you're using the Beetle Saturn core, it's going to be like this, which is a bit unfortunate. Okay. Right, so we shall move on.
Andrew 38 I'm glad to hear that you got yours. <laughs> uh, I, I had actually uh, Andrew 38 I've had people ask me about GeForce now, but I, I've no experience with GeForce now, I'm afraid. So I, I don't know. Um, I don't have an account or I don't have um, the service, so I, I really can't comment. Uh, tell the police that uh, the Pocket S I am interested in. Um, I've actually put some money down for it already um, in in China, uh, but the problem is um, I think it's going to be expensive. I might just end up not buying that <laughs> because if it's too expensive, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go for it. One hundred forty-five pounds is very reasonable, actually, for the RG five five six. Oh yeah, Chicken McNugget. Uh, so the the Saturn expert was saying uh, Beetle Saturn is the only one that you should use. <laughs> so um, I mean, yeah, maybe they'll know. Okay, this is X Men. Uh, Children of the Atom. So this, I think this is the very first X-Men Street Fighter game. It's, uh, it's a bit crazy, actually. Like, I think this the art in this game is pretty... Like, it's pretty unbeatable. Again, right, I... So to me, to my eyes, like, this game looks fine. Like, just these, this demo here. So the Yabba Sanshiro core is, is okay for this. Or even Yabba Sanshiro um, standalone. So I'm just going to stick to this. DJ Stevie C. Thanks so much for that message. I'm glad you... <laughs> I'm glad you're able to uh, join us live this time. Uh, and it's, it's great to see you here. Thank you so much for the support. Okay, so I need to uh, just... How do I check the buttons? Okay, so I have my buttons all... Oh, whatever. Okay, I'll, I'll just uh, I'll just button mash and I'll just find it out. Okay. Okay, so we've got... Uh, is, that, is Iron Man in this? Oh, no, he's not in this. Okay, it's like, oh, it's just one on one. Okay, I've got middle speed. I'm sure Iron Man is in one of these games. Oh, okay, so there's there's some issues. Okay, some garbage on the screen. Uh, but it looks. I mean, I'm I'm fine with that. I'm okay with that. I can see some why someone would say, "Oh, your game's going all wrong," but. Okay, that, oh, that was quite nice. So yeah, the the OLED screen is really nice for this kind of game. It just looks really, really cool. Like the uh, Omega Red, just like the the color of his suit just pops out, and um, Cyclops looks really cool. Everything looks really nice, and I, I just got beaten. Uh, but for this kind of game, oh, okay, a bit of FPS drop there. Okay, FPS doesn't seem perfect in this actually. Oh jeez. Yeah, the it doesn't seem perfect speed in this. Um, I am using Yabus and Shiro, I think. Oh my, take it. Man, this guy's. This is kind of hard. I should have put the difficulty down. I should have put the difficulty down. <laughs> B or B, yeah. Oh, there's a bad FPS drop there. Okay, let me just check. So I'm using Abu Uh And it's not full speed, which is a bit. A bit surprising. Oh, it tells you some. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, I have to be the same guy. Okay. 
I'm guessing they they'll make a four pro like Max or something or uh, I'm actually not sure what Retro would do next because a lot of people are looking for them to do a, a flip right a flip um, a, a four flip. Uh, Peter B, yes, it can be charged with any charger. I've not had any problems charging it with any of my stuff. Oh, I'm not impressed by the speed of this one, actually. Maybe we will need Yabasan Shiro standalone. Okay, I'm going to just pause it here, and I'm going to use Yabasan Shiro... Um, Standalone. So I only have the free version. I don't have the um, I don't have the uh, the paired one. I'm just gonna try that game in the free version. Uh, X Men versus Street. Fighter. I just want to know if it's if the standalone is actually better. Should be right. I mean, to me, it looks worse already. Uh, Andreal38, I've not had that kind of problem on PPSSPP, which is a bit odd. You might want to try uninstalling everything on PPSSPP, because there's a, there's a build already in there, right? Okay, so this is a shit show already. Because uh, they promised me, like, uh, Yabas and Shiro was going to be better, but it's not. Everyone was saying this is going to be better, but it's... Oh, okay, what, what was... What is this? It's like the intro didn't play at all. Okay, and the screen's going dark now. It's a typical like Android bug. Whenever you touch the controls, it's gonna like it goes dark. That's dumb. Oh, we still get that issue there. Okay, so Yabba Sanshiro is standalone. Is it really better? Like, as soon as I touch the bloody... It goes dark as well, that's really... Okay, so the speed... Actually, the speed does look better, but the screen's all dark. Uh, when I do this, uh, it'll bring the screen back, but then when I, as soon as I press... As soon as I press something, the screen goes dark. It's a really bad, bad bug, it looks like. I can't do any special moves. Alright, there you go. Yeah, this is a bit crap. Well, oh, I'm getting destroyed as well now. Why is this game so hard? <laughs> wow. Okay, so the speed in standalone is better. The Abyssin Shiro 2 uh, standalone. But there's some weird, like, brightness issues with this. Uh, I, I don't know what... It's like, do I need to... 90 degree rotation? No, no. There's some weird bugs in this already. Oh, how do I quit the game? Oh, there's two... Se oh, yeah, this, is, this is... Yeah, I, I don't like this emulator. Oh, what's this? Okay, some... Some binding, binding issues. On screen, I guess on screen pad is, yeah. Okay, so if you're using the touchpad, like there's no brightness issue. But this is like, you know, this this is not really how you want to be playing it. Yeah, chicken nugget. I, I got the same. This it, it happens on a couple of these Android emulators where you touch one of the buttons and then it goes dark. It's crap. I think it happens on Dolphin, right? Yeah, look, I just touched the controller and then it goes dark. It's, uh, it's a no-go. But the speed is better in the Yabba Shiro 2 standalone. So I'll come back to RetroArch. Uh, that's, yeah. It's a bit poor, actually. A bit poor. Alright, well, let's, uh, let's move on to another game. Uh, so let's try and play... Oh, I think... I didn't know why... Oh, yeah, Wipeout came out on Saturn, didn't it? 
that's uh it's pretty cool uh virtual hilda came out for saturn it looks like uh, i'm gonna play um where is it sega sega rally i think this might be a shit show but let's uh let's do it anyway where is it sega rally there there is yabba yeah, burning rangers okay yep Yeah, the SN2K, uh, so my, my tip for that is instead of pressing B to dismiss the menu, what you do, what you do is you tap the screen instead and then the menu moves off and then it stays, stays okay. Uh, so you just got to remember instead of pressing B or instead of swiping away or whatever, uh, pressing a button to dismiss the menu, make sure you tap the screen to dismiss the menu. Uh, yeah, you, if you do that, um, it will keep the brightness. Uh, so that's um, hopefully a way to get around it at least. Android 38, what's my favorite between this and the 4 Pro? Uh, I, I find myself thinking the 4 Pro, uh, not liking the screen of the 4 Pro, uh, but it has got better actually. Oops. <laughs> it, it did definitely get better, the screen, uh, with that update. Oh, what am I doing? Uh, that was my main, main complaint with uh, the RP4 Pro. And the battery life of the RP4 Pro is a little bit, is, is uh, yeah, a little bit ropey actually. I even think it might have got worse with the update. Okay, so this game is actually running at a decent speed, but you can see the road does not run, uh, it does not look that good. Like the, the track doesn't look too stable. I still think this is, like, I, I'm on the side of Chicken Nugget here, where I will take a bit of inaccuracy um, in in favour of having a better speed. Uh, so I, I, you know, I would be playing this one rather than the, 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 the accurate one with, you know, the frame skip. Yeah, Andrew, I thought, yeah, if you've got an odd in two, I mean, it's a bit hard to say. Um, it's a bit hard to, like, recommend something else unless it's, like, quite different. I feel like the RP4 is quite different because it's so small. But the RG556 is a similar size to the odd in two. So it's kind of, if you've already got an odd in two and you're looking at this, then it's a bit hard to, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's quite hard to recommend it and say, oh, yeah, just go for it. Like, I feel like this system is a good first Android system. Like if somebody's never used them, uh, you know, maybe, maybe they've got like a RG um, 35XX or MiU Mini Plus or MiU Mini and they want something like a bit more flexible and it's got like a lot more stuff going on. I feel like the RG 556 is a good, is a good step up. Uh, or the RP4 Normal. Uh, or even like the RP2 S. Uh, there's a lot of like good mid-range... Mid uh, devices and I think this is one of them uh, but if you've already gone for the you know Odin 2 already then <laughs> yeah, what else are you going to do well, I mean there is a Game Force but Game Force is a bit of a weird one Game Force S seems to be very popular with a lot of uh, with the developers because uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff going on with the Game Force S now uh, and it all seems to be coming from like developers who, who like the system. Okay, so I'm going to fail here. Yeah, but Andrew, I, I have too many, too many as well. <laughs> uh, I, I can't say I'm a big fan of Sega Rally. <laughs> Sorry, Chicken Nugget. Um, I, I'm more of a Ridge Racer, Ridge Racer fan, so I, I, I'll play, I'll play Ridge Racer any day. But but this one, uh, not not a big not a big fan. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna play Virtua Cop because I saw that down there. I, I do like Virtua Fighter though. I like Virtua Fighter. I play Virtua Cop too.
Oh, it was actually somebody who was selling it, right? I, I thought it was a store that like you got it for one forty-five. That's that's quite good then. Yeah, I think. Uh, why not? Yeah, yeah, one forty-five is okay. Okay, this game's a bit quiet. All right, so the virtual cop with a controller is not not the most uh, not the most exciting thing, but it's got to be done. Oh man. Okay, so this yeah, to me this looks this looks good, man. Oh. Oh man, I, I love this game. Uh, yeah, if it if it had the if it had the light gun. I actually like these type of games, even on a controller. Oh, shit, he got me. Oh, there's a guy there. So, I remember in this game, you had to shoot them three times to get... Oh, I missed that guy. To get maximum points, right? Oh, in the second one, you could do like the... You could shoot the gun out of their hands. Oh. Come on. Oh man, I couldn't, I couldn't get to him. Like to me, this, this, uh, I mean, this. Oh man, this emulation seems fine. Oh man, what? Okay. Like, this seems to be working fine to me. So one that I like to play is actually Silent Scope for Dreamcast. Because even on controller I think that game's fun. This one, um this one I think I played on mouse um on PC uh, when it came out and I I never had it on like I never had a Saturn back in the day, so I remember playing this with a mouse. And I think House of the Dead of course. Maybe we'll play some House of the Dead. Virtual coffee. <laughs> oh, I shot the I shot the civilian. <laughs> wow, look at that. Amazing graphics. Oh no, okay. Oh, you can get the justice shot where you, you shoot the gun. You shoot their guns. Oh. Oh, come on. That's pathetic. Oh, time, time crisis as well. I like time crisis. PS. Oh, God. Oh no. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and get to the boss. I mean we've got infinite credits, right? I forgot who the boss is. Oh no. Okay. I've got infinite credits, so who cares? Oh no. I'm getting hit so many times.
<laughs> oh, I don't have infinite credits. I've only got one left. All right. Oh man. Um, come on. Oh, there is no boss. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna call it here. I'm I'm not good at that game. Uh, all right. Okay. Uh, Steam Deck. Actually, I kind of yeah. I I could get like the. Didn't they remake the light gun or something? Someone's like um, produced a new light gun, which is uh, which is compatible with like monitors or something. That would be really cool. All right, so we're gonna have people asking about this game as well. So we'll try Radiant Silver Gun. This is a yeah. This is a very Saturn uh, a Saturn Saturn game for sure. I think that Saturn, um, uh, I think that this game actually got ported to Switch or something, didn't it? Okay, I'm not going to last long, but I always say that, I think, whenever I put this game on, because it's bloody hard. So yeah, again, like, Yabasan Shiro is not too bad. I feel like this game... Because I, I had this game uh, when I had a Saturn, and it's okay. Like, I don't see any big issues at the moment. Right, this. So in this game, right, all of the buttons, like, all the buttons have a weapon attached to them. It's really crazy. I don't know if you know. <laughs> I'm going to play it with the analog stick. Oh no, but the people, oh, they, um, the, shoot, the shooter people will, will actually get on my back for that. I think well, in one of my videos I'm playing like a shooter with the analog stick and then there was a comment saying <laughs> bro, this bro is using the analog stick to play whatever or something. <laughs> whatever game. <laughs> Alright. Alright, we got him. He wasn't that hard. That's such a weird game. Alright, I need, I need that. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> okay, I wasn't watching. I, I crashed into that pillar. Jeez. Okay, I just went into a lot of those bullets. Okay, I, I definitely prefer, like, Akaruga to this. I think Akaruga was way, way better than this game. I, I don't know why this game is meant to be so revered. I just went straight into that bloody missile as well. Oh, oh my god. It's, it's, it's really it's just hard in a in an un <laughs> it's just hard in an unfair way I think this game and then you watch like YouTube there's some you know there's some like crazy guy who's just able to bloody who's able to like perfect this game in one credit oh jeez oh man Okay, I got last life. It's my last life.
Okay, let's see if I can... What the hell is this boss? Oh, man. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. That is red in silver gun. I think it actually works quite well on this. Uh, no issues. Uh, but I'm using the Abyss and Shiro Core, of course. All right, let's, uh, let's try it over again. Uh, let's go up here this time. Okay, I'm going to try Die Hard. What was it? Die Hard Arcade. All right, this is a... Also another game which gets tested a lot on Saturn. <laughs> right, you guys are asking and talking about SD card prices or SD cards. I think SD cards, uh, they've gone down in price a lot these days. Oh, it's a little... There's a little insect in this room now. Right. Okay, this game is not running. Uh, the intro was a bit odd. The Sega logo didn't come up properly. Okay, this looks like Die Hard Arcade, all right. Okay, what the hell is this? <laughs> That's not Bruce Willis. Okay, violence on. Movie scenes. Uh, okay. Has it got actual movie scenes from, from Die Hard? Right, the volume is a bit low in this game. Okay, I guess that's a movie. Oh, yeah, I don't remember this in Die Hard. Okay, let's go for some... All right, where's the music? That's the first question. <laughs> oh. Okay, the, well, I think the music is missing. I'm going to play this with a thumbstick. Oh, oh. Okay, maybe not. How do I get in there? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a bit weird, this. It's got no music. Hey, what? Oh, these guys have got guns. Oh, I, I almost picked up, I picked up like a broom. Okay, I mean, it's, it's running okay, but there's no music. So it's a bit, that's a bit crap. I'm going to pick up that gun. I just shot him. Oh, that was, that wasn't very nice. How many bullets does this person take? <laughs> yeah, they took, uh, they definitely took some liberties. All right, it's got quick time events. That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, actually, that, that's, that was quite cool. It was in, like, first person. All right. Okay, here comes the music. That's better. Oh, that guy's got a rocket launcher. I'm going to get that. It's got a bloody missile launcher. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember uh, Bruce Willis having a... Oh, I just got beaten up. Oh, no, the guy's picked up his rushing... Wow, that's... That's pretty impressive that the AI could pick... Like, drop their weapon and then pick it up again. There's a guy with a gun there. Okay, I need the gun. Oh, 
Oh no, no. Oh no, I'm dead. Alright, that is Die Hard Arcade. Um, it's... I, I don't remember that happening in a movie. I don't remember any of that happening in... in uh, Bruce Willis's Die Hard. I think like Die Hard Arcade and um, is one of them that Retro Game Corps cites as one of the hardest games to emulate. Uh, there's another one which is uh, Fighting Vipers. Uh, let me just try that. Uh, where is it? Uh, but keep in mind here, I'm not using the most accurate uh, Saturn emulator. So I think it's either Fighting... Oh, sorry, Fighters Megamix. It's Fighters Megamix, which is the hardest... Uh, according to that, uh, the Sega Saturn expert, which once came to my stream. Fallout Spring 77, by the way. Thank you for dropping by. Uh, I think I did cover one of your requests, uh, Fallout Spring 77, in the PS Vita stream. Uh, Nock, is, uh, the question here, is there a, a way to uh, remap the RG button? I believe there is. Uh, I've forgotten... <laughs> I've forgotten how, but I think it's possible to, to map the RG button to something else. Oh, does this just not work? That's interesting. Uh, okay, let me... Right, so it looks like Fighting Vipers is having a bad time on the Abbasanchiro RetroArch. Um, so what I'll do is I'll try Yabba Sanchiro Standalone. So I have the free version of Yabba Sanchiro Standalone. It's got some bugs in it. Um, this brightness bug is quite annoying. Uh, but we'll just see if it works. Yeah. Get in the adverts. Let me try Fighting Vipers. Uh, sorry, Fighters, Fighters Mega Mix. So it did not work on RetroArch, but... Let's see, see if this works. Oh, is it awesome? Oh, oh, what's that? Oh, this is a mess. Okay, this this is a bit of a mess. This is a massive mess. Yeah, I I don't know why, but the Fighting Vipers is not working well on the Abbasanchiro. Let me try it on Beetle Saturn. Now this is gonna be very slow. Uh this is gonna be really slow this. It'll it'll probably work, but it'll be it'll be slow. I mean, even the Saturn logo is losing FPS. Olkan Ake, uh, Olkan Ake 556 or Retroid? Yeah, um, good question. Good question. Okay, so Beetle Saturn runs this game, uh, Fighters Mega Mix, but it's going to be slow. Uh, I'm going to put some frame skip on it, actually. Uh, so how do I do that? Uh, Frame delay? Is it frame delay? Uh, um, how do I put frame skip on? Uh, oh, is it actually in the core options? Okay. Uh, input. Uh, oh, can you not do it? Oh, crap. Is it not frame skip? Latency, maybe? Okay, I, I don't know how to put frame skip on here. Frame throttle. Uh, doesn't look like it. All right, I'm, I'm going to go without frame skip. Um, that's a bit unfortunate. But this is not going to be full speed. Oh. Let's pick, uh, let's pick Sarah.
All right. Yeah. So. RG556 is having difficulty on this one. It's like half speed. If if I could put frame skip on, I guess uh, it would be playable, but it's not great. This is the most, uh, I, I would say that this is one of the most difficult games to emulate on Saturn. Okay, that's enough of that. Oh, the replay's, replay's actually a bit better. NVR, welcome back. All right. Yep, all can, okay, it is um, It is not as good, but Be Beetle Sun is actually good, but it needs a lot of power uh, to work properly. All right, let's try something. Um, is there another Saturn exclusives? Okay, let's try D. <laughs> I know D, D is a Saturn exclusive, right? Uh, on, on the Abyssin Shiro Core. Uh, Fallout Spring 77, the, the game was uh, Fighters Mega Mix. I mean, if you don't care about Fighters Mega Mix on Saturn, then I suppose it's fine. Yeah, the Sega Saturn is quite a weird. Uh, it has like seven or eight CPUs or something. Different. It has seven or eight different processors, which is super super weird. I feel like um, like the Sega was they were probably making it and thinking, oh, the PlayStation's just come out. Oh, the you know the the N sixty four's coming out. We need to add more processors. Richter Harris. What an M. <laughs> what a bizarre game. Yeah, uh, D is a it is a horror game. Yes, um, D two is way more horror. I think it's like a weird Japanese horror game, which is I think this is exclusive to. Uh, it might be on PlayStation, but it was like it was never kind of like remade or brought back. I think this is like stayed in the archives. I'm gonna move on. D. <laughs> oh God. The graphics are pretty terrifying in this game.
Oh, did you just walk in here and then... <laughs> I bet there's no one. I bet there's no one in the world who's playing a D, D on their RG five five six live right now. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's, it's another one of those dark games. Needs a brightness boost. Uh, but the RG556 is, is decent for these type of dark games. What this to me? What the hell's that? No, don't touch it. No, don't touch it. Oh, she got teleported. Okay, so... Oh, alright. So it's an FMV game. That is crazy. I can actually move around. Yeah. This is quite... This is quite interesting, actually. I thought it was 3D. D2 is definitely 3D, because there's a second one of this. But this is more like mist. Oh, this is so weird. Okay, let's cut this pullback from that. Uh, it might be a bit hard for you guys to see because it, it's even hard for me to see. I think the colors in this game are not, not great. Yeah, D has several. D has several discs, yeah. There's some ghost. I can't even see anything there. Oh, okay. I can go upstairs. It it kind of plays like uh, mist, where you know you you push a direction and then uh, something happens and it plays a new F and V or something. It's pretty. Uh, it's pretty crazy. It's it's a very slow game. This. For sure. Wow. But I bet like when this first came out, people were probably thinking, what the hell is this? Um <laughs> Come on. I thought that was an instant death. <laughs> yeah, Adam S. It's it's like uh, yeah. I, I've pressed like I'm pressing like left and right to move move around, and turn around. But it takes like half an hour to um. It takes like a good 10 seconds just to, to move in that one direction. Oh, don't look in the mirror. Someone coming out in the mirror. Oh, 
All right, I'm going to leave it there for D because it's uh, <laughs> getting a bit, <laughs> it's getting a bit crazy. I even think D was uh, wasn't it censored or something in America? Or the like the Japanese release was the original one, and then they just um, they had to censor it for the American re release or something. Anyway, uh, let's play House of the Dead. Welsh Warlord, welcome back. Uh, there is no custom firmware right now. Um, and the out-of-the-box firmware is actually not too bad. It's okay. Uh, but I've heard from uh, Steve Steve L um, from the last stream, who was, who was talking in the last stream, he, uh, that person and also uh, Gamma might be working on something. So for Gamma OS. But uh, I'm not... They didn't promise anything, but, um, you know, they were, they were looking into it. All right, Dawson James, yes, this is the, it's all about the screen, I think, this device. Uh, the screen and the ergonomics, because uh, the ergonomics are actually quite good. Yeah, I think as soon as you, as soon as you remove some of the, um, like the apps that you don't need, uh, you know, there's some, there's going to be a lot of emulators which you don't, you know, not really up your, up your alley. So, just get rid of those, and I think you'll be fine. Oh, you nearly got me. That was a cheap, that was a cheap one. This game is a bloody classic. Um, I do like this. House of the Dead. I like this modern Virtual Cop. Oh, I shot the, <laughs> I shot the hostage guy, the scientist. All right, that's uh, that's House of the Dead one. I think House of the Dead two is actually a lot better than the first one, uh, and all the blood is green in the, in the American version. It's a bit, that's a bit stupid. Okay, what should we put on next? So, oh, I, I put knights on. Um, I'm not sure how well it will run, but let's put knights on. Uh, hopefully, I've got it. Knights was another uh, exclusive. I feel like Knights came out uh, was really released somewhere. Uh, Olkan, you ordered an RG three five triple X. That must be the. Uh, did you get the plus or the hedge? Okay, there's another. Mortal Kombat. Oh, 
Okay, not, not sure I'm going to play this actually. Is it with the analog stick? Alright. So I never really got Knights. Um, I, I played it. I remember the first time I played it. I think it was in like a... It was in like a Dixon's or something. Or like a... Um, what do you call it? Uh, HMV or something like that. All right, so I'm I'm really surprised this is working. Whoa, what the hell are those things? Okay, I need to become knights, right? Yeah. Oh, it's such a weird game. Like, who the hell fought this game? It actually runs pretty well this game. Um, I know, you know, I'm, I'm using Yabba Sanjiro again. You know, it's probably not the most accurate way to play it, but I mean, it's working. It's working. This was like such a yeah. I, this was really a, a a big a big release Saturn release. Like that, people would say, okay, this is the game you get a Saturn for. But I never knew what the hell it was about. <laughs> like, what the hell is this trying to tell us? <laughs> oh, what? Okay. <laughs> I can see the confusion in the chat. Yeah, this is Knights. Uh, yeah, this is this is nice. I mean, at the time, people were thinking this is going to be, you know, this is like, this is like the the new shit run. I think it, it wasn't it before Mario sixty four. Um, yeah, it's like this is the like, this is what video games are going to be like in the future. But yeah, obviously, it's a bit different. I don't know what they were like, what kind of drugs or what they were smoking when they were making this. It, I think it is Sonic Team, right? Is it the um, same people who made Sonic? I mean, I could be wrong. Uh, I don't, I don't know my Knights uh, trivia. And um, I, I like Fallout Springs comment. What, what is the point of this? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm feeling uh, similar. I'm getting similar feelings as well. Uh, because I, I don't, yeah, I don't really know what's going on. Oh, I got minus five. Okay, can I can I not kill that thing? Oh, I guess there's no killing in this game. There's no like destroying, destroying monsters or whatever, and just it's just all about spinning around. <laughs> What am I meant to be doing? Where am I going? What is the meaning of life? <laughs> what a weird game. Now, but having said that, you know, it's running okay in this emulator. Okay, I'm running out of time apparently. Uh, I've only got five. Okay, so I don't know what I'm meant to be doing. I've got five seconds. Oh, I lost my I lost my knights. Okay, I'm just regular. I'm just a regular kid now. Well, this is weird. Okay, I need to pick up these things. Oh no! Somebody's somebody's trying to get me. I think. Oh no, I'm gonna die. Oh no, I got sucked up by the night over. Okay. Oh, it actually tells you how to play the game, right? Okay, I guess that is how you play it. Right, so that's knights. 
I'm not going to play Christmas Nights. Yeah, I, I do. Yeah, I, I do uh, know there's a Christmas Nights. Okay, uh, what should we play next on the Sega Saturn? Panzer Dragoon uh, 1. Okay, that sounds like a another classic we need to try out. <laughs> the sound really didn't really didn't edge well. Mm. Okay, this this sounds a bit heavy this game. Well Panzer Dragoon was all about this. Alright. Steep slope sliders. Okay, let me have a look at that one after Panzer Dragoon. Okay, oh, we've got some bugs with the subtitles. Oh, we got, are you going to show me the intro twice? Okay, here you go. Okay, this is, yeah, this is a Saturn game, all right. This is definitely a Saturn game. Whoa, whoa, pull up. Okay. Has he got any more weapons? <laughs> you got any more weapons, mate? Oh, shh. This was when Sega, like, remember Space Space Harrier? Space Harrier was pretty good. Afterburner. Afterburner's a bit like this, I, I, I reckon. Like, probably the same, the same guys, right? Oh, like Star Fox? This is like Star Fox. Oh, I thought that was a collectible. Oh, someone's actually shooting at me there. This game is actually kind of kind of interesting. Yeah, this this game's alright. Oh, it's got lock on. Yeah, I remember this. Oh, it's a bit popping there. Whoa, I got hit by that flower thing. Am I gonna go into that? Am I gonna go into that? Oh yeah, okay. See, this is this was pretty cool, man. Oh, 
Whoa. I hit by that thing. Can I like turn around or do anything else? Oh, I can, I can zoom in. There's like different views. Oh, is he gone this side? I've actually got 3D. I don't have 3D control, right? I can't turn around. Yeah. <clears throat> How do I actually? Oh, bloody hell. It's a big, big old missile. How, about I, how do I bloody avoid that? That's a bit... Does it let me turn around? Oh, maybe I can slow down. Yeah. Okay, let's try and get this guy. Almost there. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Star Fox 64 is like Godfather. BB Freak 07, no problem at all. Thank you for dropping by and watching. Okay, bug. All right, let's try bug. Uh, oh, sorry, let's try the. Um, I think it was steeple slope something. What was it? Steep slope. Yeah, this one steep slope sliders, and then we'll try bug. I think bug was released on quite a few platforms. Um, oh, oh, what was it? Um, oh, am I thinking of Jax or something? Bug. Oh, what's that other one? Uh, Clockwork, something. Like, these are all Saturn exclusives, right? Alright, this game's... Uh, I'm not sure what this game is. Oh, okay. Here we go. Steep slope sliders. It's a cave game, wow. I thought a cave just made shooters. All right, let's just go. I'll go regular. This game looks uh, good. Looks good, this one. I'm in Russia. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's jump. Oh, this, this is fast. Oh, look at that draw distance. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Okay. How do I... <laughs> How do I correct myself? Okay. What these buttons do? Right, this kind of... This kind of fast, this game. Well... Okay. Okay, I'm just going to concentrate on getting down the slope in one piece. Oh, shh. Oh. Right, SSX, eat your heart out. Oh. Okay. This, the soundtrack is intense. Oh, I did, I did a trick. Oh, is that it? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go again. Oh, it's just one. Is it just one track? Okay. Let's 
try and do some more tricks. Okay, I've got a feeling I'm not playing this game properly. Got 79 points. Okay. Oh, oh, I went straight into that house. That lodge. Okay. What a weird game. All right, let's move on to the other game then, which was Aswa Bug. <laughs> it's kind of faster than I thought that game, uh, Bug. Uh, oh, um, I think I need to play Clockwork Night as well, actually. Where is Bug? Oh, Bug. Okay. Say go away team. What does that even mean? Oh, is it is it crashed? Or is it loading? Is it still loading? What's going on? Oh, I think it's crashed. Uh, oh, we got our first. Uh, so bug doesn't work. Let me try the other core, Beetle Saturn. Let's fast forward this. Hopefully, Beetle Saturn gives us some reasonable speed. Okay. Ion, yes, I did start early today. This is Sega Saturn. <laughs> oh, that's, what a piercing sound that was. Oh my god, that's... Oh, leaderboard. <laughs> There's retro achievement leaderboards for this. Okay, so... Alright, so Beetle Saturn actually is good for this game. That's That's good. Okay, how do I bloody play this? Oh, I can. Oh, why is jump up there? All right. Okay, I'm not going to try and jump on their heads because I don't know if that's a thing in this game. Maybe it is, but I'm not going to find out. Okay, what? I didn't. Okay, this game's okay. This game's kind of interesting. What is the law behind bug? How did bug... How did bug st appear? Oh, okay, so you can kill them jumping on the heads. It's the standard Mario Drop. Okay, that guy's gonna die. Oh, some spikes there. Oh. 
Get away from me! Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. I lost some bug juice. Okay, let's kill that guy. I guess I can't get... Oh! Oh, what? Okay, this is interesting. Yeah. <laughs> bug juice! Okay, th this is... Uh, how can I get that? Okay. I didn't know a bug could do that. that. That's pretty cool. He sort of sticks to the floor. Impressive. Okay, so if you want a system to play a bug, oh, uh, in uh, in Beetle Saturn. Oh god, I'm getting hit now. Like the RG five five six is for you. Alright, okay, this is a bit confusing now. These levels are actually quite big as well. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. okay well, how do I get... Okay, I can't get through that bamboo. So, oh, there's a lot. There's a lot of different bugs. Oh, I can just walk, right? Yeah, it should be all right. Checkpoint. Okay. All right, I'm just going to try and get through this game. Oh, shh. I don't like that, that fast one. I don't like these jumping ones, and I don't like that fast one. Let's get, let's go, let's go, 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 go. Oh, there's like crushes and things. Okay, let's kill this guy. I feel like the sound mixing in this uh, game is a bit... They could have done better. Oh, no. Okay, I'm down to my last bug juice. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right, let's call it there for bug. Yeah, this is actually not not too bad. It's uh, it's a good one. I like that. Thanks for the suggestion. All right, Fallout Spring seventy seven. Um, what emulator do I recommend for the Odin two on Saturn? So go for RetroArch Beetle Saturn. Uh, it is the most accurate. Uh, so yeah, so go for that one. Uh, the Yab Yabasan Shiro is not as accurate. Um, but it's, it's, um, it's got the speed, right? So that's the one that you try if you have like an RK3566 device, like, you know, like a, um, RG353, you know, you have something cheaper. Uh, but yeah. Beetle Saturn is the one that you want. Ben Abrams, it's good to hear that you got your RG556. It's very cool. Uh, sorry, I forgot about Burning Rangers. So we'll be playing this one. Uh, nom nom, uh, we're just playing Saturn games today, so uh, yeah, I won't be I won't be playing PS2 games. Yep, I did forget the boring, boring, uh, burning Rangers. I'm not. I didn't write any of these games down actually. I got my pen and paper here, but I didn't write anything. Okay, I think Burning Rangers is a bit, isn't it, a, like a, a bit hard to run. Got 
<laughs> you can check your mail. Okay, this theme song is quite cool. Choose your burning ranger. Where's my R button? Have I not got it bound? I've already failed. I failed the tutorial. Where's where's my R button? Uh, <laughs> and that guy sounded so angry as well. Uh, oh, controls. I'm sure I bound all my. Yeah, A, A B. Where's my? Yeah, it's, it's here, right? Yeah, it's down here. Trigger. It's here. I'm pressing my... Why oh, my trigger's not working? Have I done that thing with the... Oh, that's what... Yeah, that's why it didn't work. Okay. That's why it didn't work. Alright. Oh, do I have to restart? Oh no. Okay. Do you see that fuel tank? Yeah, yeah, it worked. It now worked. look to your left by pressing. I need to restart, sorry. <laughs> oh god. It's a disaster. Okay, come on. I'll come back. Okay. Oh, at least I can fast forward it. You know this game I am? I, I, I don't, um, to be honest, I don't think I do. I think I tried to play it before, um, but I failed. <laughs> it, didn't, it didn't work on something else. Okay, I am fast forwarding, so that's why the sound is all weird. Oh, did it skip the tutorial? That, that's good. Oh, brilliant. Okay. I feel like the lighting is a little bit off. Yeah, I, I feel like this game is not displaying properly. Okay, I can jump. Oh man, this game is... There's a lot going on. Cellstar Laurentino? Uh, no, I have not. I have not. I still have it. I haven't sold it off or anything. I do. Uh, there have been like maybe one or two streams about the RP4 Pro. Um, I will come back to it. Don't worry. Uh, I think next month there will be a lot, a, a bit less. Um. There'll be a bit less RG556. Um, and then in the middle, there might be something else. In the middle of April, there might be something else. Chris, the door is behind you. 
How do I open this? The door is behind me. Oh, okay. Oh, that wasn't very fair. Oh, there's too much. Go up. Oh, I have to say, I, I, I don't like this game. I don't like the get, the way that this game controls, I'm afraid. I really don't. Oh. There's a lot of requests for Bully. Oh yeah, we can shoot the... You can shoot the fire. Oh, such a weird... Okay. Oh, the the voice is quite good. The voice is very helpful. Thank you. Calm down. You'll be okay. Yeah, chicken McNugget. It's there's some kind of like filter over it, which is making it dark. I feel like the contrast is not right, or there's some lighting problem. It's a bit. It's not quite right. Something not right. Okay, I'll leave it there for Burning Rangers. Uh, I think there's some graphical issue uh, with the Yabbas and Shiro card. What I'll do, right, is I'll try... I'm going to try um, running it on Beetlesatan. And then we'll see. Oops. Let me try, uh, let me try that. I'll fast forward it. I'm using Yabba Sanshiro in, in RetroArch, so it's a bit different from, from yours, probably Chicken McNugget. So there's a guy, uh, Tiago Cordero, I think he's asked a few times for Bully PS2. So what I'm going to do at the end, uh, probably after this actually, is I'm going to try Bully to PS2 for you. Let's just, uh, I'm just going to see what this game is like um, on Beetle Saturn. The FPS is not good. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely, Ion. It's terrible. <laughs> it's really bad. I'm fast forwarding, but it's not. It's not doing anything. Okay. Okay. They, yeah. There you go. So it's meant to look like this. Yeah. So it's meant to look like that. Okay, that's that's why there's a problem with Yabas and Shiro. This is pretty obvious actually. Okay, let's uh let's eject and move on. Press the damn R button now. Yep. Right, let me uh let me get my PS2. I, I hope I have bully. I hope I have it.
SD card. <laughs> I lost my SD card. Where's my PS2 SD card? Oh, it's here. Okay. <laughs> the thing about these expensive SD cards, right, is when they go missing, or when you when you can't remember where you put them, it's like, oh shit, I've lost my one terabyte SD card. <laughs> All right. Um. So. Uh, where is the bully? Oh, this is going to take ages. Okay, hopefully we've got Bully. No, I, I don't remember which handheld it was in. It was in my Iron Air Pocket Air. Like it was in this. Alright, so while we're waiting for that, I think that's, that should be pretty quick. Uh, let me just play this. Should be a oh yeah. It's a, sorry, it's a eye <laughs> on yeah. It too many too many machines problem. Okay, I'm mostly playing this on my off time when I'm not streaming. Uh, there was a question earlier, right? I realise the speakers in the Ionia Pocket Air are not that good. Okay, that was enough time to... Uh, I think the speakers in the RG556 might be better. Okay. So what is that game called? Bully. Is it called Bully or... B Bully, here it is. Okay, so... Who is it? Uh, is it Tiago? Tiago Cod Coden Codenino... Um, a nom nom. Bully is coming right up. Hopefully it'll work. Uh, I'm not sure how far we're going to get. Um, I think somebody in the chat was saying, uh, was it you Chicken Nugget? Like was saying it might not be too good, but we'll, we'll give it a go. Uh, this is Bully. The PS2 version, not the Sega Saturn version. I'm at 1.5x resolution, so it's not a massive upscale, but we'll see. Tiago, I'm guessing you're from Brazil, uh, with, uh, with with an M, uh, with if you call Tiago. <laughs> but I, yeah, I think about, um, I think the viewers of my channel are mostly American, and then second, it's UK, and then third, it's between Brazil and Russia. Which I found quite interesting. So if you're in, if you're in those countries, hello, welcome. Um, yeah, I can't. Um, <laughs> um, I can't speak Brazil. Um, is it Brazilian, Portuguese, or Spanish? I can't. I can't speak those languages, but it's uh, it's very cool to have viewers from there. Yep, Brazil, okay. Alright, this game is actually looking not terrible, but I mean, we need to get into the game first. I'm playing Bully, I'm not playing the 50fps uh, PAL version. I'm play actually playing the American version. Portuguese? Portuguese, I, I, I don't know. Sorry, I'm, I'm a bit, um, yeah. I've not been to that part of the world myself. Okay. Can I fast forward this? I'm going to fast forward this. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So hopefully it is working. I thought there's an Ameri uh, like an Android, sorry, an uh, Android version. Isn't there an Android version of this game? Welcome to Bullworth Academy. Oh, you will 
Anyway, I can't spend my life waiting around for naughty little boys. I've got a man to make happen. Uh, that's a good question, that chicken McNugget. I think I may have both. Uh, but on this SD card, I've just got the American ones. Don't keep Dr. Crabblesnitch waiting. He's a brilliant man. Brilliant. Uh, Chicken McNugget, did you say that you're having issues with this? Because I think it's not too bad, right? Okay, let me just fast forward this. Okay, I've, I've even got, I think I can even upscale a bit more. Uh, so I'm going to go two times, two times resolution. Uh, I was at 1.5, but I'm going to try two times right now. Oh, uh, yeah, two times. Um, and then I have my settings down here. I have the, I'm going to turn the anisotropic filtering up to 16x. Uh, and I have my hardware download mode to unsynchronized. Uh, I think I have a widescreen hack on actually because it's, it's widescreen. Uh, I have threaded presentation on in my global settings. I'm using Vulkan. Uh, and that's about it, I think. Nothing else too, um, too crazy. So I'm at two times resolution. It's okay. It's okay. All right. So. Oh, there's a little bit of, okay. There's like a one or two percent. Um, oh, he, he actually looks a bit fat. <laughs> Is it? Uh, yeah, he looks a bit fat. I think you need to turn this one. Yeah, wide. That's better. Yeah, he was looking a bit fat. Yeah, he looks good now. He looks good. So there's a widescreen option in, in the game. Um, isn't it, I've I've not played uh, Bully actually. Um, I've I've not played through it, but there's like a lot of mini games and things, isn't there? Wow, this game looks really good actually. It looks quite good when you upscale it. I think um on this RG five five six you could go to um you could go to one point five if you just want to smooth out the FPS dips, but I feel like two times right now is okay. Like it's looking good, with all these characters on the screen as well, and the the flaws are even working in terms of like the reflections. Um, it looks good. I think outside I was getting a little little FPS problem, but it actually looks pretty good. All right. <laughs> All right, I'm actually, um, okay, I should go over here, right? Yeah, principal, so see the principal. <laughs> yeah, I think he did say hello, ma'am. Might have been the secretary or something.
<laughs> chicken, chicken McNugget, you will have a clean nose. <laughs> I think you, it means like you'll stay out of trouble. And corporate lawyers. Real scum. And that old creep thinks he can tame me. We Adam D. Uh, apologies, this is not a Sega Saturn stream anymore. Uh, there was a request for Bully PS2. So it turned into a, um, a Bully stream. And uh, it wasn't literal, like, I'm going to take the boogers out of your nose and clean them. Uh, it's, it's more like, um, yeah, you're going to stay out of trouble. Okay, so whoever suggested this game uh, is, um, is a legend. Because <laughs> this, because I, I, even I want to play this game now. Because it looks really good and it... It runs great on the RG556, even at two times. Uh, I'm not seeing any issues so far. There's a little bit of, yeah, mi very minor FPS drop just outside here. It comes down to like maybe 90% speed. Um, but yeah, it, I mean, it's, it's just when you're outside, I guess. I did think there was an Android version of this, but I guess, um, yeah, I, I guess you want to play the, you know, you want to play the original. I don't think it came out on the GameCube, this game. I think it came out on the Xbox, but I don't think it came out on the GameCube. Okay, I'm going to try and find that. Am I going the wrong way now? I think I'm going the wrong way. Uh, I'm trying to find the dorms. Oh, it came out on Wii. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. So if it came out on Wii, then that's a, that's potentially a. Oh, there. Here we go. Went in the boys' dorm. <laughs> oh no! 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 They're beating down. They beat me down. Oh, it's like it's like Godfather. <laughs> it's like Godfather. Oh, you're going to trouble now. Excellent. Okay, so we we might be an option. Uh, hopefully it's got no motion controls. Nice or what? Yeah, sure. Good. 
So I've got a um a sixty five watt charger and uh I've plugged it into my RG five five six with no no problems. Uh just for your information, uh Peter B. Actually, um I have a hundred and I think down here I have like a hundred and something watt charger. I'll just let me just try that. Okay, so Bully is working great. Um I'm pretty happy with this. So whoever um requested it earlier Nom Nom and um, was it Tiago? I, I like it. Yeah, it runs well. Try it on two times resolution uh, with those settings. Aoife SX uh, version 1.5368 or Nifa SX Classic and it will work. Alright, I'm just going to plug in a... Okay, so down here... Down here I have a 100 and... I have a 120 watt charger down here. So let's see if this works. Alright. Okay, so this is a hundred and twenty way. <laughs> Does it even work? Okay, so I don't think my um, 135. Oh, I didn't. I didn't turn it on. I didn't turn it on. Yeah, so it works. It works. Yeah, so it's charging. Okay. All right, so I'm <laughs> I'm not gonna play um I'm not gonna play that game, I'm afraid, but I can I can put it on briefly, but I'm not I'm not gonna give it a full a full test. Uh Ratchet and What is it? Ratchet and Clank. I've got like dog hair all over my uh, which uh going commando, okay. Just give me a second. It's going to be at 1.5 times resolution. There's like, yeah, there's like dust and crap all over my hand. Adam D, my SD card is a one terabyte card. Uh, usually the other, uh, the one terabyte SD card I recommend is this one, uh, the team group. So this one is pretty good. Uh, you can get it on Amazon for about 65 or something, 60 US dollars. So I recommend that one. Okay. Uh, who requested this? Raise your hand. Uh, who who is this? Uh, things. Okay, things. Uh, select file. Okay, I'm, I'm going to fast forward this uh, just to get to the actual game. Oh, okay. So I, I can see why you're asking me to, to test this. 
Oh, there's a little, there was a little drop. There was a drop, uh, but now it's okay. Oh, I was playing this the other day, right? The Vita version. Uh, Ratchet's face looks okay. The graphics look okay. <coughs> Is it widescreen? Okay, I don't know if this is widescreen. Yeah. Probably could go a bit higher. Uh, whoops. Two times, maybe. Put some filtering on. Yeah. Okay, so let's pull that out. I didn't get a good battery, um, I didn't get a good battery reading for you guys. I was playing this on Vita. I mean, to me, this game is working fine. All right, is the game not locked at 60? It goes like between 30 and 60. Oh, okay, chicken nugget. Okay, thank you. It's in the camera options. Yes, okay, good. Thanks for that. Okay, so if we stretched, uh, what we do is we just go here. Uh, thanks for that, uh, Chicken Nugget. That was uh, very helpful. And then we got widescreen. Nice, okay, so I think that this, I think this game is fine um, as well. So whoever uh, things, thanks for your request. Uh, I'm only going to play up to here, but yeah, let's leave it here for the Saturn, <laughs> the the Sega Saturn uh, stream. Thanks a lot. So um, as you might know, yeah, I'll be on, I'll be on holiday for a while. Uh, so from this point on, there's probably not going to be that many streams, uh, if at all. Uh, yep. So look out for any posts. Uh, I'll, I'll be posting a lot actually on the community tab uh, just to give you greatest hits. Uh, Chicken McNugget, that is a really good question. I don't know what device I'm going to take with me. It's a really good question. Uh, probably something small. Um, maybe it's the RG, maybe the RG 405V. I'm thinking of taking this. Uh, but I'm not going to take a bigger device. Maybe even the RG35XXH. I might take this. Peter B, I, I actually, uh, I was thinking about that as well. That's a good suggestion. <laughs> That's a really good suggestion. But I might just take the RG35XXH. Uh, uh, with my favourite... Uh, custom firmware which is MUOS. I highly recommend MUOS. Uh, Ion, I took the Mew Mini Plus last on my last holiday. Uh, so I'm gonna probably take something else. Alright, thanks a lot for the support. Thanks a lot for watching and if you like this stream of course drop a like on it. Uh, if you want to get notified when I come back or check out any, see any of uh, the posts that I'm going to be making, that I'm going to be scheduling, uh, there will be a video at some point, uh, but I just got to make it in advance. Um, but yeah, thanks a lot. And I'll keep, uh, keep giving one device to holiday, not the other. <laughs> All right. So thanks, uh, thanks so much. And I'll see you guys in the next one.
Copacabana.